Georgia Governor Brian Kemp will co-host a private fundraiser in Atlanta Thursday night to rally up Georgia's Republican base. Governor Kemp says he's focused on flipping Georgia red after former President Donald Trump lost by about 12,000 votes in the 2020 election. Well, I mean, party is party, and they're both Republicans, and so it's not surprising that Governor Kemp would support a fellow Republican um, in this race, that, you know, all else being equal, he would prefer a Republican candidate to win the presidency as opposed to... Uh, as, as opposed to Kamala Harris. When Trump rallied in Atlanta earlier this month, he slammed Governor Brian Kemp, calling him disloyal, a bad guy, and an average governor, blaming the Georgia governor for his loss. The two have since mended fences. While Georgia Governor Brian Kemp and former President Donald Trump may not see eye to eye on certain things, they both stand clear against the Biden-Harris administration. They say that due to high 40-year inflation, as well as their failed policies at the border, that there needs to be Republicans entering the White House this election. Do I think that, you know, this means that they're going to be best friends uh, from now on? Probably not. Um, and other people have said the same thing, but this is very much a pragmatic move that, you know, is owing to the fact that they are both Republicans and they're both loyal to their party. Political experts say the path to the White House is through Georgia. Uh, you know, many people suspect that he has his eye on John Ossoff's Senate seat for 2026. He wouldn't want to alienate part of a crucial Republican base that would propel him to that nomination and even to that victory. So it makes sense pragmatically to make amends with Donald Trump. However, earlier during the May primary, Governor Brian Kemp confirmed he did not vote for Trump. Reporting in Atlanta, Archit Tashadri, Atlanta Bureau Chief.